Hello everyone. Today, I'd like to introduce uh, structure design tool development and some examples of computational morphogenesis or parametric design using developed tool. Structure optimization, computational morphogenesis, algorithmic design, or and so on. As these words symbolize, the architectural industry has entered the era of computational design, I think. Looking back at the history, of computational design tools until the 2000s, engineers themselves used to develop some structure design tools using Fortran or Shibra. However, they are difficult for beginners to learn and the tools are difficult to use. On the other hand, in the 2010s, Grasshopper was developed as a visual programming tool on Rhinoceros. Grasshopper is very easy to learn, and since various computational design tools are now componentized the Grasshopper, there are a variety of components available for interactive structure analysis and computational morphogenesis in Grasshopper. For example, Caramba, Kiwi, Ameba, and so on. These tools are very useful, and of course I use them. However, the source code of each component is not open to the public, so Customization is difficult and these tools are assumed to black box use, I think. Then I want an open source free structure analysis tool that can be used on Grasshopper. This is a motivation to this study and development. However, it is not easy to create an advanced structure analysis tool from scratch. If we don't care about Grasshopper, there are many free and open source structure analysis software available in the world. OpenShift, Open System for Earthquake Engineering Simulation, is one of the most useful software of them all. It can be used for all kinds of simulations related to structure design, but it has the disadvantage of being extremely difficult to use without any graphic user interface. Recently, OpenSheets.net has been released and OpenSheets is now available from C Sharp. Since Grasshopper components can be written in C Sharp, I developed a component that enables interactive use of OpenSheets structure analysis functions on Grasshopper via OpenSheets.net, thereby solving the disadvantage of OpenSheets lack of GUI. Today, I'll introduce about the details of OpenSheets for Grasshopper and some case studies of structure optimization using it. OpenSheets for Grasshopper, so-called OS for GH, is still work in progress, but source code is fully open to the GitHub and wiki pages start to be created. It is still in the process of being created, but the details and the usage of the components are explained through some examples. Uh, sorry, the page is only in Japanese now, but we are planning to add an English page in the near future. The functions of OS for GH are divided into five main groups, analysis, pre-process, leading from Rhino, utility, and visualization. At present, only static and dynamic elastic analysis functions are implemented, and only beam, shell, and spring elements can be used in OS for GH. However, OpenSheets itself has many other analysis capabilities for structural engineering, and in the future, we can develop a component that can use all of them. We are also developing cross-section design functions based on Japanese design calls and linking functions with Revit. Finally, I will show you some practical examples of OS for GH. The first one is an example of time history analysis. Here, I tried to solve the same model as dynamic analysis of one-story moment frame with viscous dampers in the OpenSheets official examples. As you can see, you can use number slider to interactively control the seismic waves and visualize the results. Next example is the strain energy minimization under self-weight while considering total volume constraint. Optimization has been done using the original component of the gradient-based nonlinear programming method in OS4 GH. This is the original component in os 4 gh The gradient-based nonlinear programming method is available in this component. 
And it is also easy to perform topology optimization, such as this one. This is topology optimization of a bridge using grand structure method via OSYGH. And this is an example of structure analysis using a Revit model directly linked to OSYGH. In this case, we used Dynamo to exchange building information in CSV data. This will save you the trouble of creating structure analysis model. However, the exchange of CSV data is somewhat troublesome. So we are now developing a more effective method using run inside Revit to link Revit and OSYGH directly without CSV data. This is work in progress. Finally, conclusion. In this paper, the main features of OS4GH are under development component that enables OpenSys to use on Grasshopper were introduced. It was shown through several simple numerical examples that various computational morphogenesis can be carried out by combining OS4GH with existing optimization components such as Galapagos, Warase, or and so on. OSYGH is still work in progress and does not implement all the features of OpenSheets. However, it has been released as freeware and is being used mainly in the field of university education while development continues. The ability to use OpenSheets or Grasshopper is expected to save labor in the design process. For example, it will be possible to seamlessly link BIM data with structural analysis using line inside Revit. os gh will continue to be developed for further enhancements in the future, including Revit link system using line inside Revit. Thank you for your listening.